Yeah, Rob, uh, court just ended for the day. It started with about two and a half hours of back and forth between prosecutors and the former president's legal team, talking about things like what to allow into evidence, another attempt to delay the trial, among other things. The judge then told both sides, we have more important work to do, alluding to the hundreds of potential jurors waiting to be called in. Today, former President Donald Trump took his seat in court, one no president ever has as a criminal defendant. After leaving Trump Tower, his motorcade weaved through the streets of Manhattan to arrive at this intersection of American history around 9.30 a.m. In the halls outside the courtroom, he shared a brief statement consistent with one he's echoed for months. It's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. Trump is charged with falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment through his attorney at the time, Michael Cohen, to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, who has alleged an affair that Trump has long denied. The defendant claimed that he was paying Michael Cohen for legal services performed in 2017. This simply was not true. Trump has pleaded not guilty and denies any wrongdoing. The trial is expected to be in session four days a week for roughly six weeks. He'll go back and forth between the courtroom and the campaign trail. Today, reiterating his claims the two are connected. This is really an attack on a political opponent. A jury of 12 people will ultimately decide whether to convict or acquit a U.S. president of a crime for the first time ever. Prosecutors are expected to center their case on the testimony of Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Also expected to take the stand, Stormy Daniels. And I would, I relish the day that I get to face him and, and speak my truth. And Trump himself, who says he plans to testify. The first batch of potential jurors had 96 people. Of those, more than half were excused from service when they identified they could not be fair and impartial. Court is scheduled to be in session 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. every weekday except Wednesdays, and that is, uh, holds true even despite some of the scheduling conflicts that he brought up at the end of the day today. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.